Hello, it's uh, Chad Goings again with uh, Rolling Hills Consulting Services uh, based out of Washington, Iowa. And my number is 319-461-7427. And today I was going to tell you a little bit about an automated tool uh, that we created to help um, with yield analysis for crop data. And so for this uh, particular tool, in order to use this tool, um, you're going to need ArcGIS and the Spatial Analyst um, toolbar. So I'll let you know that before um, you <coughs> decide whether you want to keep watching or not. So um, those are the requirements. And then, of course, you need uh, some yield data and, and that sort of thing. But uh, I'm going to assume that, um, that if you're interested in this, then you probably deal with yield data on a uh, regular basis or spatial analysis um, of crop yield data. So um, that's what I'm going to talk about today. And a general overview of this tool is that it's a tool that's going to input um, a point shape file into ArcGIS. And that point shape file is going to contain at least two fields. One uh, yield field and uh, two an elevation field. So if you're out in your combine um, and you're <clears throat> harvesting your crops and you've got a GPS and a yield monitor and it, you output a point shape file and that point shape file or GIS file has um, at least those two fields, a yield uh, field and an elevation field. So for every <clears throat> recording there's a yield and an elevation then this tool will work for you and so what it does is it automatically it takes that elevation data from uh, that you get from the combine and it uh, creates a landform category um, polygon out of it um, so you have these different land classes that you can use then to analyze and look at correlations between yield and uh, landform class and then we can also bring in soil type as well. So um, it's basically the overview is to automatically create landscape landscape classes from yield data elevations, and to allow for comparison of uh, yield data, landform classes, and soil type. So again, what do what do I need to have to run this tool? So what would you have to have on your end? You'd have to have ArcGIS and you'd have to have the spatial analyst extension and um, and then the data so you know your again your point shape file with your yield and elevation data and soils data which is easily available and down you can download for um, anywhere in the US at least okay so what does the tool look like so if you were to obtain this tool from us um, you would load it into Arc Toolbox um, and then this would show up. Um, we called the tool landscape yield analysis. And so, um, so that would be the toolbox, landscape yield analysis. And then there's these various um, tool sets within that toolbox. Um, so you would get the tool from us, um, the toolbox, and you would load it in to Arc Toolbox. And that's how you would run it. Okay, so how does the tool work? So this would be an example of some crop yield data that you might get from a particular agricultural field. So again, lots of points. So your your the combine is taking in yield and elevation as it moves across the field, and the output is these particular points here. And as I mentioned, the only uh, two fields that you really need to run this tool within this point shape file is the yield um, field and the elevation field. So if you've got those two fields, then um, this tool will work for you. So the first step um, would be to create the land class polygons. And so uh, again, you would get this toolbar from us. You would um, load it into Arc Toolbox. Um, go to landscape yield analysis, double click on the land classes uh, tool set, and um, you will, this will come up. And um, you input your input file there. So there's only two things you have to do here input your um, point shape file that has the yield and elevation, 
and then output where you want the land form classes to be. So your output is going to be a polygon. So basically what it's going to do is create an elevation model and then um, landform classes from that and um, the output is going to be a polygon that has the different um, landform classes. So just input the point shape file, tell it where you want it to go, and this is what it will output. So for my computer, um, the processing time was one minute on this. So from having a point shape file with yield and elevation, one minute later after running this tool, you now have polygons that break up the landscape into landform classes. So this would be an example of your first output. So these are polygons and um, it takes about a minute to process. Um, and so when you open up this polygon um, shape file and you open up the attribute table, um, you now have a grid code and we're going to change that grid code into um, meaningful categories. And that's what we do for the second step. So the second step, you, could, you, would, you would double click on calculate fields in your landscape yield analysis toolbox here. And um, you would input that polygon file that you just created. And what this is going to do is calculate, um, it's going to assign a number to each, or excuse me, assign a category to each of the polygons. So after you run that tool, this, you'll have a new field in that polygon um, that assigns a landscape category to um, that particular polygon. So that's the, the second output. So um, your third step then would be to join um, the yield points with the landscape classes, so the polygons with the points. So your third um, step, your third tool set here is called corn classes and your target features are going to be the uh, point shape file and your join features are going to be the land class polygons that you just created. And so you're going to run this tool and it's going to join up um, the yield with the landscape classes and so now when you open up the output of this is going to be a point shape file and when you open up the attributes now you're going to have yield, elevation, and land class. So at any particular point here you know whether that particular um, point is is in uh, you know is on a summit position, shoulder, etc. Um, low spot, whatever it might be. And so now um, you've got that attached to your table. And so um, once you've done that, the fourth step then would be to add in your soil polygons. So um, we've got a tool set here called Add Soils to Land Classes. And so you would have to bring in the soils data um, and I would recommend clipping it to the boundaries of your field. Um, and so you've got the soils data from the USDA and RCS. Um, and so you bring in your join feature would be the soils and your target feature would be that point file that we just created. And we're going to um, join those up. And then um, the output, the fourth um, output here will have a table then that has uh, yield, elevation, your land class category, and the type of soil that it's on. Okay, so that's what the tool does, but why would you want to do that? Um, and, and so as, as you can see I wasn't um, the processing time on those is for my computer anyway was uh, really quick it's the first the first step took about a minute um, the second one takes about two seconds the third step takes about five seconds the fourth step takes about five seconds so within two minutes um, you were ready to do some analysis with this um, and so this is just one very simple example of what you could do um, when you're done running this tool. So here all I did was created a pivot table. I exported um, the table, the final output to Excel and then just ran a pivot table real quick of um, average yield within a certain landscape category. Um, so you know this is, was just real simple and so the first you know 
kind of result that you might get here is okay so on summit positions the yield seems to be on average the highest you know something like that so just a real simple example um, you know the tool is is real simple to use and um, you can um, obtain the tool by contacting us and so um, we'll have it um, available for you on the website um, but you'll also want to email me or call me um, if you're interested and we can also customize it to um, do some more things that you might um, you might want to do on an automated basis so this might be particularly useful for people who deal with lots of um, yield data and uh, yield analysis and so if you're interested give us a call again my name is Chad Goings Rolling Hills Consulting Services Washington Iowa 319-461-7427 my email is cagoings at rollinghillsconsulting.com and so if you um, are interested in the tool let me know um, if you um, purchase the tool you get uh, free and almost immediate tech support um, I answer my emails real quickly and give me a call too so um, so let me know if you're interested and I hope you enjoyed this video